Hey, when's the reading of the will, anyway? <laughs> I just realized we're talking about Bill's will. <laughs> what? Stop being such a pill. Mr. Lawyer Steve here already told us it's not official required thing. What should I do now? Let's see, since it appears the assets that will be included in your estate are much over your basic exclusion amount, we'd want to look at strategies to manage your future tax liability. With the increased $11.4 million lifetime exemption and the $15,000 annual gift exclusion amounts in 2019 after tax reform, there's a unique and limited opportunity until the end of 2025 to transfer significant wealth during your lifetime without incurring a transfer tax. If you previously made transfers that fully used your available exemption, you now have a new exemption, so to speak, for a limited period to make larger gifts to further reduce the amount of your estate that's subject to estate tax at death. If you expect you'll face an estate tax liability, there are a number of strategies you might consider. First, lifetime gifting by using the increased annual $15,000 gift tax exclusion amount to help remove future appreciation from the estate can be a very effective planning strategy. In addition, certain payments that are made for education and medical expenses aren't deemed to be gifts for gift tax purposes. Split interest gifts are also very effective tax planning vehicles. Examples are Granger Retained Annuity Trust, or GRAD, which is an irrevocable trust in which you make a one-time transfer of property from which you receive a fixed amount annually for a specified number of years. And Charitable Remainder Annuity Trust, or CRAD, which provides an annual stream of payments to one or more non-charitable beneficiaries for a term of years or life. And last, but certainly not least, are sales to intentionally defective trusts.